Hey everybody, it's Diana with Stamping with Die. Welcome to my YouTube channel and this week's Mimeograph Monday for the twist. And I'm going to do a cute card out of the new mini catalog that will start uh, September the 4th, September the 4th. And um, it's, it's super cute, so I just wanted to play today. Now, um, I also want, I'm going to show you one of the projects for my fall social. I did show it as a sneak peek um, on, I don't know if I showed it on my blog, but I showed it in my Facebook group <clears throat> and maybe in an email. But I'm going to show you the full thing because I only have a few seats left and registration closes on the 30th. So I just want to show you one of the cute projects you're going to do so you go, ah, oh, I don't want to miss out on that. Um, cause like I said, I'm almost sold out. This is for United States only though, because I can only send stuff within the United States, but it's open, um, to, you know, whether you're one of my customers, a stamper, um, one of my team, another demonstrator, um, as long as you are in the United States, uh, you can join. And like I said, there's, um, more information on my blog and, uh, I only have a few spots left. All right. Um, so that's what I wanted to share with you today, uh, what I'm going to be sharing. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Diana, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I'm in Santan Valley, Arizona. So yeah, so today is my Mimeograph Monday with a twist. Now usually I do um, videos Monday, Tuesdays, and Fridays, and a quick little video on Saturday. But this week, I'm going to take the rest of the week off from videos. I'm not taking the week off. I have a lot of work to do as I um, get all the finished projects designed and starting to um, cut stuff. So I just need to um, focus on that so then I can also figure out exactly what I need to order from September the 4th. And so I just need to go, okay, um, less stress on my brain if I just... Um, pause the videos for this week. So I do apologize. I have tons of videos. I have over a thousand videos. Um, if, if you want to um, look back at some old ones, um, maybe you'll see an old one that you want me to um, maybe uh, update. You know, maybe there's a, a technique or something and I used an old, old step set or something. You might go, oh, I'd love you to do this technique again and update it. So please look back at some of my older videos if you would like. Um, also reach out to me if there's ever anything you want me to show. Um, I love suggestions because sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I going to show? That's why I love my Mimeo Graph Monday with a twist because I am casing a project from Stampin' Up! And then I'm just making a twist on it. So I will be doing two projects today. And, um, so just make sure that you stick around for both of them. Okay, so I'm going to stop blabbing so I can get um, adjusted. I am in the chat during the um, video premiere. So if you have any questions, head on over to the chat room, and that's where I'll be. If you are watching the replay, leave a comment below. YouTube will let me know, and then I can reach out. Okay, so um, let's get started. Close your eyes for a second while I get my camera adjusted. I wanted to share with you one of the fun projects you'll be making uh, for my virtual fall social and I love how this turned out and it's actually a fun little um, it looks like a bottle like a bottle top right and I just made a pretty little wreath on top and you're gonna get half a pack of the ephemera so that's just one of the ephemera greetings and this is um, some of the designer series paper also using the stamp set I uh, just colored with the blends and you can see I added some of that fine tip glue on the berry so see how that shines um, now you won't get the fine tip glue I will send you a list of supplies that I used doesn't mean you have to use the same but um, I will send you <clears throat> a list of what I used on the projects before the event so if you do decide um, that you want to use exactly what I used. It gives you time to um, order, you know, order that. Um, now the DSP, you know, you'll be getting those um, birds and stuff like in your packet. Um, but 
like the fine tip glue, the blends, you know, you won't get get that. You'll get the little bling and the ribbon I've used and the cute um, little gingham ribbon that I've tied on there. You'll get that in your packet and your um, DSP and stuff. But I just, I just could not resist. I just love how this turned out. And so, yeah, so you're going to, um, this will be one of the projects. All right, so let's get to today. So I'm going to be doing this card right here. And this uses the, it actually it was um, three stamp sets. And the, I'm glad I have the menu, or not the menu, but the recipe, because uh, I might have missed that. But anyways, all right, so you can get the recipes on my blog. If you go over here, on the very top of my um, blog, you'll see... Uh, current catalogs on the top if you click on that then it will show you the recipes so um yeah so i'm going to do this card here and it uses these three sets it uses this super fun yuletide village and it is adorable now these are in the new mini catalog that's coming if you decide you don't want to wait till september the 4th you can add these in your starter kit today and um, then you don't have to um, wait for them. All right. Then the peaceful season and falling snow. I almost didn't get falling snow. And I'm glad I did because I wouldn't have been able to do this card right away. All right. So we are going to be using. Now I did do um, my embossing beforehand just because I'm going to be doing two projects so it's going to take a little bit longer um, than just one project so I thought well I would do a little bit of um, stuff ahead of time all right now this is petal pink as my card base and then where I put the greeting it just says love from our home to yours I stamped with the white embossing pad, and then I sprinkled my white embossing powder and heat set it. And this is on wild wheat, so that's where that came from. All right, so I just wanted to do that ahead of time. This is where we're gonna stamp our little um, village on there. Okay, so we're gonna use Memento because we're gonna use the blend. So before, let's put our um, stars or whatever on on here. So I want my grid sheet. Okay. And we're going to ink this up upside down. This way we can see if we've missed anything. And it's just a light touch you don't want to get ink oozed in all this because it's kind of a delicate fine stamp all the little snow trickling down it's got dots and then um, snowflakes in there all right I'm gonna go because usually I do it upside down this is what I usually do I usually take my card Usually it's not a full card, but they have used a full card. So we're going to go full card right on there. And then we're going to rub with one hand with the other. Now, usually I put seal here. And then what it does is that seal sticks to my grid sheet. So that when I peel my grid sheet off, it pulls the card with me. But this is a full card. So there we go. There we have that. But this is a full card, and then I would have seal on the back. But usually it's just a card panel or whatever. You're, um, it's, it's not the finished card. So then the seal would get... Um, you wouldn't see the seal because it would be glued behind. So hopefully that makes sense. I'll have to do a um, how I do my backgrounds some other time. But anyway, so look how cute that looks on the petal pink. Just simple, simple. 
that aside so I can clean it later. All right, now we want our house. I'm just going to bring a grid sheet over here so we can put our pattern on here. So we had the fun little tree. And it's stamped kind of half off of the, the card there. And then we have the little gate, not gate, but a brick fence. And it just goes along the card. I love photopolymer. I'm getting used to photopolymer. I know we've had it several years, but um, it just, but you can see, right? So you can see exactly where to place so it makes it easier. There's still certain things I really like in the cling, the red rubber, but um, for placement, the photopolymer is, is, is super for that. All right, so now we have, now I'm gonna work my way from the right to the left. Because if I stamp from the left, I might have my house hit the tree. Then I don't want my house hitting the tree. So now we have this house. The cute little um, snowman. And then we have the single house you have like a two two house and then we have the single house okay so cute right all right and then i want what do i do with my little greeting Good grief, Diana. It, well, it'll be here. I don't need it right now. All right. Close this up. And look what I did. <laughs> oh, I'm making a mess today. And now I'm like, one eye is looking for the greeting. All right. So now we're going to color our blends with our blends. But... We want this tree to be garden green, and we don't have a garden green in um, a blend, so I'm just using a Stampin' Write marker. So I'm just gonna color this little tree with the Stampin' Write. And I'm not doing them perfect, right? I wanna have a little bit of white, All right? So now we can color the rest with the blends. All right, so I'm gonna look at my one off camera here. All right, so these are the colors we're using. We're using Wild Wheat Light, Petal Pink Dark, Crumb Cake Light and Dark, Lost Lagoon Light, and a Gray Granite Light are the colors that we're using. All right. So they have a little bit of um, color here on the brick wall, but it's not like perfect. It's just kind of like almost like a skim coat or whatever. All right, then we have our wild wheat door. All right. We have light crumb cake. So I had fun. I think I say that every week, right? How much fun I have coming up with my twist. But if it wasn't for the Stampin' Up! one, I wouldn't have this um, series. All right, so this is just a light crumb. I'm just kind of putting it here and there. Okay, and we have dark crumb. And then the dark crumb, I'm going to put on this house, like the house house. So this is dark from. So these are such cute little houses with that snow on the top. 
Now, the, the Stampin' Up! ones didn't do anything that I could see to the snow. So I'm just leaving the snow plain. But you know me. You know my twist will be different. All right, so dark from... I think I even, like, was back and forth on if I was going to get this set. Can you imagine? I'm so glad I got it. I think I have almost everything from the mini catalog. And I tell myself every time, you do not need everything because there's only so long as a demonstrator to use everything, right? But... It doesn't matter how long I've been a demonstrator, I'm still my best customer. <laughs> because I just love, love new stuff. All right, so that was Dark Crumb. And then we have a Dark Petal Pink. Move my camera up just a little bit there. All right, so this is um, Dark Petal Pink. This door is petal pink. This house is petal pink. I love that cute little snowman right there. He's just like the perfectly drawn little snowman. All right. Let's see what else do I have. I also have light gray granite. So I'm like looking around to see where I use the light gray granite. Okay. So I'm here. And I'm going to put a little bit on my... Um, snowman. All right. And then this house is Light Lost Lagoon. So my hearing aid is dying. Oh, hopefully. Oop, I just died. All right. So I'm going to do my batteries real quick. I'll better. Let's finish coloring our house. I have new hearing aids I got a few months ago, and they're a different company than I've ever had, and the batteries only last four to five days, which to me is not that good. I was getting a week out of my old ones till they started to die, and then they're it wasn't as much, but, but, oh, well, I'm just blessed that there's such a thing, so I can hear. All right, so there is our Lost Lagoon house. Oh, okay, so I think that's all I'm going to do to this. All right, so now we have, we're going to put this on our petal pink. And I'm just going to use seal. And it just butts up right against the side there. And then here's my little love from our home to yours. And so this is trimmed just a tad. And it's just going to simply rest along here and i'm going to put this on with glue dots we're also going to put some um linen thread okay this is just going to rest on here And then I have some linen thread. Now, I have just put the um, linen thread on this spool 
kids that come on the spool. But I just kind of like the look of things on the spool, so I just always put the twines and my linen thread on the spool. And then they sit on my desk on this handy dandy little thing. So when I'm cutting stuff for classes, I put the big spool, I put this spool, and then I can just, you know, cut and it, it doesn't get all twisted up on my desk. So I love repurposing things. I have a few of those from when I was um, getting stuff for my studio. I remember all those years ago I was in, and I still go antiquing even now, but um, just find some, some other reason. Now I'm putting the linen thread, I tied it into a bow and I'm just going to twist and kind of squish the glue dot around the ribbon and just kind of keep touching it and then you'll take the tackiness away but here is the cute little one that is made from the catalog one all right so now let's get to my twist <clears throat> now i had even more fun with my twist of course a little more color all right I also used some new designer series paper that's coming up. I'm using the Take a Bow or Take a Bow six by six, and this is in the mini catalog. And it is so fun. It's six by six, and um, it is the perfect size for that um, the new bow die. But I wanted to play with that, and I found some really cute paper. To use with my um, twist card. I'm also using the Sentimental Christmas and this is, um, we have some amazing paper coming in the, like look at this, oh my gosh, this is such a, a um, beautiful designer series paper. I think this is the one that Stampin' Up! donates um, money if, if you um, order it, but it's just beautiful it looks like um old-fashioned they look kind of sketchy so i wanted to um use that candy ribbon i like this one i almost use this one that i'm like no but i love the look of this one how it has that 3d look to it it even looks better more better in person these gorgeous candles and some more so i like how there's quite a few um designer series paper there. Um, if you want to scrapbook, there's perfect ones for scrapbooking. So I'm gonna use this. So this is just my extra paper and I just stick it in like a little envelope. So when I cut, I just stick all my smaller pieces in there and then I go to that before I cut a whole sheet. All right, so I changed colors, like I said. So I still, it's still a, a regular size card. I used a basic white thick as my card base this time. All right, so this is gonna go on the inside. I did not put anything on the inside of the catalog one. And this is the paper that I'm picking for my card. It's got these, uh, it's, um, it looks to me like pecan, but it's just this gorgeous um, snowflakes. So instead of using the background stamp, like the first one, I'm taking advantage of the designer series paper and using it. I love designer series paper. I don't think we had designer series paper when I first started in 99. We might have, but it was not like the paper we have now. Um, it might have just been patterns, but not these pretty um, pictures and... Um, and when I mean patterns, it might have just been like polka dots and ginghams if we did in, in stripes. I don't believe it having like the gorgeous artwork that we have now. All right. And then I have my layer. So this is going to go on here. So I might as well just do that. Oop, my seal is out. So my, my, my batteries are going, now my seal's out. Okay. 
can't tell you how many times I open up thinking it's a refill and it's a whole one. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't need to open a whole one. All right. So now we just need to put these in the holes. And it's done. All right. Now I've stuck it to there. Okay. Let's put this on our card. This is pretty snowflakes. Okay. And then let's do our houses. Now I'm going to use the same houses, but I'm going to I'm gonna switch them up in order. I can get my memento again. So I'm going to put my tree over here this time and then build our little brick fence. Okay. And let's put our houses. So I'm going to do left to right again, because now I'm doing the opposite. I don't want to hit my tree by going this way. So I'm going to put this fun little house. And there are, um, where's my stamp set? Look how cute these houses are. So you have this little house. So th these are the two that I'm using. But look at that beautiful church. So, and then there's a tree, and then there's um, some garland. Just a really cute little set. All right, so let's go back to, like I could have did church, but I'm just keeping the same houses. My house to be straight. Okay. And then these little houses. But it's fun. Like, you could just keep going. Like, if you did a scrapbook page, you could just keep going house, 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 all along the bottom. Wouldn't that be adorable? That would be really cute. Okay. And then instead of, um, I want to let it dry a little bit. Instead of doing the embossing, I'm going to use the same greeting. But this time I'm going to do Poppy Parade because I did um, pull in Poppy Parade in my ink. And I believe this is Poppy Parade on my designer series paper. So I'm going to do my greeting with Poppy Parade. Love from our home to yours. And I'm going to try to put it right in the center of my strip. Cute. I love that pop of red. And then also, before we color our houses, there's also this fun little um, snow, but it's like um, dots. Where are they? Uh, I'm like looking all over for my dots. That's one thing with photopolymer. They just kind of like get lost on the desk. Oh, here they are. So I want to put these. So see, they're just little tiny dots. They just look like, like that. But I want to put some... Um, Little dots, some little snow in my sky. I'm just moving them around. I can put them in my sky there. So how cute is that with a little bit of snow? So now we can color. So of course, like I said, I'm gonna use a lot more colors. <laughs> Just because 
I can. And it looks cute. All right, so let's see here. Okay. I wish I could find these dishes. If you ever find these, I got them forever ago at Home Depot, and there was only four I think I got. But they're super fun. They're great. They stack. And when I'm getting stuff ready, that they're perfect for the blends. But I've yet to find them again. It's like one of those things, you know, you you um you go go to um the store and you don't get everything and then you go back and it's gone. I'm always like, Ugh. all right. Now I'm gonna take my light gray granite and we're just going to put a little gray granite. around our houses just to add a little shadow okay and then let's do our fence and i'm going to take this grid sheet away because sometimes it interferes with the um, focus of the camera all right, so we're going to, this is um, light smoky slate, and I'm going to color the whole fence in this time because I want it to be a, a brick fence. Now, the top of it could be snow, but I'm just making it be all gray. All right, so light smoky. And then we're going to take the dark smoky and just put a little um, on the edge here. So it's just a little darker and a little bit from coming from this side. And then every once in a while, I'm just going to come in and add a little bit of dark to a brick here and there. But I don't want to color it in totally. I still want to be able to see some of the light bricks. All right. Now, remember I told you that um, they, I didn't see anything done to the snow? Well, I don't want to ignore my snow. So I'm going to take light pool party. And I'm going to put some light pool party on my edges. And it's kind of like... Now it looks pretty dark, but I'm going to go in with my color lifter and pull away some of that. Let's see, there's some on the windowsill. So don't forget the roof down below. And then we also have our cute little snowman. And we have snow on the ground. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just putting like a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to take my color lifter. Now the color lifter is basically like an eraser, but it also softens um the color so i'm just going to take the color lifter and i'm just going to just kind of come up where that pool party meets the paper where i didn't color and that's just going to soften the edge of my pool party now it takes a little bit of time for it to react but it will just soften that and not be so stark because I just want my snow. I don't want it to look like I ignored my snow. All right. Let's see. Hopefully you can see. So just kind of soften that a little bit so you have that, that snow up there. All right. Let's see what else. I also want to put um, so that my houses have lights in them. So I'm going to just take my light lemon lolly and I'm just going to add this to all the windows of the houses.
you know, like we have people are in here. Now you might not have very, very window on in your house, but I mean every light, but it looks cute. <clears throat> okay. Then I'm going to do, now I'm not going to use the, the Stampin' Right for my tree. I'm going to use the blend. So I'm just going to go, um, this is light lemon lime. And that seems to be the green I reach for all the time. This is light lemon lime. And then I'm going to take, um, light old olive and I'm just going to come in I'm going to add some old olive here and there so that my tree has a couple different colors <clears throat> crazy throat all right then let's do the some of the houses all right so we have My lemon lolly again. All right, so I want to do this house is lemon lime lolly because or I mean a uh, lemon lime twist because it is a super cute color and it looks adorable on the house. This is light lemon lime twist. And then I did it over here, too, because the tree's already that color. So I really don't want to do this tree the same color, because then it will be too close. So I did it, like, totally opposite. And then I'm going to take my light granny apple and add some shadow. So it's just going to be a little darker than if I did the dark lemon. Just a little shade different green. All right. Now I can put lemon lime over here on the shutters and the door. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll take that granny apple. also want my light smoky here it is <clears throat> and we're going to do light smoky on our chimneys and i'm going to do light smoky on this as well as the steps on the house there going to go light pecan pie on our house like the roof piece that you can see because we're just going to assume that this is a housing community and they made them use all the same roof all right, and we have our poppy. Remember, we're using poppy and peach. We have light peach. This house is light peach. These are just some fun colors for the houses, I think. The light peach. And then I'll do dark. Like each. <clears throat> and a dark peach. I'm just putting a little bit under the eaves.
Yeah. Cute. Is that cute? Yes, it is. All right. And then I'm going to do balmy. So we have balmy blue. So I have light balmy and dark for this house. So at least this HOA wasn't quite as mean as some. We don't live in a HOA, thank goodness. But I've heard such horror stories of how they can be. So at least this place lets you paint your house how you want, even if they're sticklers for the roof color. All right, so this is balmy. And then I'll do my dark balmy under the E, like before. You're probably saying, of course she got this set, because look at all the coloring she can do. Why did she even think she didn't need this set? All right. Then I have, I want wheat again. So I'm going to do wheat for this door. And then I think I'm all done coloring except my poppy. So now I have my light poppy. And this door has a cute little um, ribbon on it. So I could not ignore that. All right, now this house, I'm going to have this have some red. So we've got our light poppy underneath the windows. And I also want to do it on the door. So our doors for our house, and even Eric's house, are red. Like, like a hunter, like it's not a um, bright, bright, bright red, but it's red. And I love the look of it when we change that. Okay. There's that. And I think that's all the coloring. Now, I do want to take my dark poppy because the little tree looks naked, right? It's Christmas time, almost. So we're going to decorate the tree. So I'm just going to take... My dark poppy and I'm simply going to just put some red dots on it so it just looks like we've decorated the tree all right what else do I have I also have my wink of Stella because we have to put some shiny shiny snow all right so I have my wink of Stella brush and we're just going to add some Wink of Stella to, I'm like getting a little messy with it. We've got some Wink of Stella on our snow and our cute little um, snowman and also underneath here. And you could even put it on the windows, right? Because that would shine. But I'm just going to leave it as that. So look how cute. With that Wink of Stella, you could see it glistening. So now let's bring our card over. And my little piece of designer series paper. There we go. All right. So I just cut this a little bit bigger. So it can stick out from underneath. And so now you have a little bit of that poppy parade. Trim this just a tad where I can see a little bit of it out the side. There we go. Strip. All right, so I'm going to put this on with dimensionals. And I'm going to put my strip on with dimensionals too. One in the center so that it doesn't sag. <clears throat> and then let's flip this over. And I'm just going to cut up the side of my dimensionals. So 
let's put this on. Now, I didn't put any ribbon on this because the designer series paper has a lot going on, right? So, and then I have the, the Wing of Stella in more color, so I just left it um, without any ribbon. You could if you want. Add a little twine, but look how cute that is. And then this is just going to go along the bottom here. Try to center that if you can. And then we're going to trim our edges so that it doesn't get caught in the envelope. And we're putting it inside. But look how cute. But isn't that turn out cute? All right, so let me show you the catalog version. Look at my glue or my dimensional backings everywhere. So here is the catalog, and then here is my twist. So they're both super cute, I think. All right, so let me say, see you later, alligator. Well, super fun, right? Oh, it's just so great to do like a little scene. I do. I just want to do, it'd be fun to do like a slimline card because then you could just go, you could make a whole like do the church and the houses and whatever. Um, if you did a page, you could um, like stamp the church like up higher so it looks like it's kind of in the distance, right? Um, it, it is a super cute little set. So hopefully um, you'll, you'll go, oh, that's on my wish list now. For when the mini catalog goes live all right so i'm going to stop blabbing like i said i'm going to take the rest of the week off for videos so i won't see you um, i'll still do a fast little video a saturday morning but i won't see you till next week for my mimeograph monday with a twist and that will be three o'clock same time same channel and that will actually be the first day of september i believe um, so don't forget, you only have till the 30th, if I still have spots available to sign up for um, my virtual fall social. Do not forget about that. You also only have till the end of the month for my goodies, which are the super cute little iridescent faceted gems. So if you order 75 before tax and shipping, you can pick those as your goodie or you can get the cute little mini masterpiece and if you want both uh, make sure you order 150 in the month and those can be accumulative orders you could order you could have ordered at the beginning of the month and then you're going to order towards the end of the month uh, but remember you have to do that in the month of august make sure you're in my store when you order. if you have any questions at all make sure you reach out and um i will see you uh next monday a week from today um but holler at me if you have any questions. All right, I'm going to stop blabbing for real. All right. Oh, and I forgot to move my microphone over to my mouth. So hopefully you heard everything I just said. And have a good weekend. Have a good week. Talk to you later. Bye for now.